Hey guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to um, use a simple vacuum gauge to be able to um, diagnose issues with your engine. So my dad's going to rev the engine. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's revved. Uh, go ahead, rev it up to 3,000. Okay, that's good. Thanks. You're good. You can go in, yeah. Thank you. So basically, this vacuum gauge, um, I will link in the description where I got it. I know I got it off Amazon. I want to say it was around 30 bucks. Um, so it's super simple. Comes in a pack with different adapters. This, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a fuel pump gauge, but really it'll diagnose and it says on here what a lot of different things mean. Different drops mean fluctuation and you can print out a pretty easy, easy to read on chart online anywhere that'll tell you what a simple drop means. So basically I hooked it up to my, this is my PCB hose. And reason being is I could only, this is the only vacuum port that I could find on my car it's after the throttle body. So this is my throttle body and it is directly after. Only other thing I found, this is my brake booster vacuum hose and nothing would fit in there. I don't have any adapters that would fit that would screw in or anything and I don't know of any other one. This seems to be doing the job right now and look at that. So a perfect engine, perfect vacuum is in between that 17 to 21. A lot of people say 18 to 21 as well. Either way, mine is in the normal right now. So what you saw when my dad just revved the engine, <clears throat> um, I had him rev it. I'm not sure if he did it exactly to 3,000. Um, when you rev it that high, it should drop down to zero. As you saw, it went back up to about 24, 25, and settles back down. If you have issues where it is idling steady, like in that 15 range, that's what's so nice about this, is it'll tell you exactly what. You have late ignition timing. Late valve timing or a leak at the intake manifold or heater riser. Like different things, they're so easy to read. And you can do easy research online and I'll be able to tell you exactly what is wrong with your car. So it's super simple, it comes with many adapters. I just shoved it in there in this, this part of my PCB homes and it seems to be working just fine. I came out here kind of just to test. This is a, my 2006 Pontiac G6 3.5 liter. So if you are having any issues trying to find a good vacuum port and you don't want to take off a random hose, I know this has coolant flowing through it. I know different hoses that have different things running through it. And I really didn't want to guess too much, but I knew that this had vacuum in it. And so um, we shoved it in and it worked. So any adapter that you guys want to try you got a t1 so a lot of different ones will work either way that is how you test the vacuum in your car um and it's very self-explanatory this booklet that comes with it has a lot of really nice tips it's got a uh, different specs tells you what to do what not to do never turn the page everything you need to know very self-explanatory even without this booklet I still read through it it was still recommended to me to read through it but I learned that this thing is very cheap this thing is very useful and to my understanding before scan tools that you just plug into your car how a lot of mechanics did it in the past and so it's really nice to just be able to do it the way they did it a lot of people that are really smart and you can learn a lot from one of these things so try to hold the camera say it's fluctuating a tiny bit between about a half a psi looks great to me i'm glad with how it looks I do have issues with my engine so that's a great way to rule some out 
yeah, if this was uh, helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments uh, what I could do better, what you guys, what you guys' thoughts were. I'll see you guys in the next video.